Let's welcome to the show from the House Ways and Means Committee, Congressman Greg Stubbe. Uh, Congressman, first of all, I guess white supremacists have lost their, their lead in that uh, race in terms of what the FBI considers is the biggest threat. But what's your reaction? I mean, that's, that's a very serious threat coming from the FBI. Yeah, I was actually going to say I'm glad to hear people in the Biden administration not say that climate change is the number one national security threat to our right. country and actually talk about China. Because if you go back to um, John Ratcliffe under the Trump administration, he told us before Trump was out of office that the number one national security threat uh, against the United States was the Chinese Communist Party, and that was over three years ago. Uh, so it's nice to actually hear people in the administration speak the truth that we've known for years uh, and speak very frankly uh, about the threats that we face. I mean, just think for a moment, you know, he talked about all these hacking of different infrastructure and hacking energy companies and the power grid. Just think for a second if China was able to hack our power grid and our communications and Americans didn't have power or the ability to talk to one another, how detrimental that would be to the average everyday Americans. Absolutely. Just a day without their cell phone and uh, power. Well, or, or it could be even worse than that. What if they, they uh, get our infrastructure like our water facilities and, and uh, of course, our banking records? It's, I mean, they really could. When I, when I say that they are a threat to our national security, it, it's, it's not necessarily that they're going to invade, although some people would look at the southern border and this huge increase in the number of Chinese nationals that have come in. I think it's a 6,000 percent increase over the past couple of years. Look at these numbers. In, in fiscal year 2021, 342 Chinese nationals crossed the border. In 2023, that jumped up to 24,000. This year, fiscal year 2024, it's already up to 22,000. Do you suppose that any of those, many of them come in unvetted by our security forces, that some of those might be a part of some, some means to hack our, our, our national security system in terms of of an all-out assault on, on what we have by their hackers. I think that the mass majority of them are. And if you look at the increase in the tick up of when it was, it was after the Biden administration took office and we had an open border at the southern border. So our enemies saw a green light at the southern border and an ability to invade and put their people here. We've had over 40,000 Chinese Communist Party, over 30,000 Russians, Afghans, you name it, have been coming in through the southern border because they know that there's an open border and a weakness there in our country. I believe that's also the number one national security threat to the American people is the safety and security at our southern border. And so absolutely, they, they're looking for an opening and they have one at the southern border. And then they're absolutely going to go after uh, every think about everything is online these days. Everything is a, a, available available through websites. Yep. And if they have the ability to hack those websites, whether it be financial websites, infrastructure, like you said, water or energy, that could be ha have a huge detrimental effect and attack on the American people. But just to put a fine point on it, if I heard heard you right, you say you have no doubt that most of these uh, Chinese migrants coming across the border were sent here by the CCP. 100 percent. That's what my belief is. And those are just the people that we have apprehended and know where they're from. Think about the two million plus gotaways. Some of those are going to be Chinese Communist Party, Russians, Afghans and others who are coming to our country, not because they want to live the American dream, but because they want to do us harm. And we got to leave, but one final note about you personally. A lot of people have been asking, how's your health after that fall from the ladder? I'm doing great, and uh, thank you for the many miracles on that day, and thank you for asking. Uh, a lot of the many prayers of the people across the, the nation contributed to my healthy recovery. Prayers work. Uh, good to see you again. Thank you very much for being here, hey Congressman. Too.